guys, yes, please. Woo! Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. As you can see, we are on the Town Hall 9 right here, guys. Um, I've been playing on my Town Hall 10 in my Class Without Walls a little bit more. Took a little break from this. Also been playing some balloons, as you guys know. First off, if you guys want to watch me stream um, or go watch past streams of mine, there's a link down below. If you're on your phone or your device, click that little arrow underneath the video. It'll take you down. Go to camcord.com. Follow me there. I'm going to be streaming a lot of Clash and balloons there. Just kind of a little introduction for you guys. But today, we're trying to get Dark Elixir. I've been trying my best to farm up some Dark Elixir. We need 45,000 to get our queen up to level 9. Our king is already at 10, so not a problem. What we're using today, guys, is giants, wall breakers, and archers. Um, kind of a guard strategy, if you will, uh, with those wall breakers in there, etc., etc. But it's been working pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and watch one replay, and then we've got a full army camp, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and try and get you guys a live attack where we can get a good amount of Dark Elixir, all right? So here's the first replay from earlier. You can see against Leon. He's got 1,400 Dark Elixir right there in the middle, guys. We're going to drop off our giants down here. We've got one heal spell. Biggest thing, guys is waiting for that mortar ball to hit before dropping your wall breakers because if you don't wait you're going to be in trouble the mortar's going to take them out and you're going to be really stressed so you can see right there we've still got a couple wall breakers i'm trying to get them to uh break all of these walls on the side so we're going to break this one right here this one on the right's already broken now they'll head in towards that air sweeper and once they get up in there right there then our archers are going to be able to run up in there and take out that dark elixir so biggest thing guys Getting those giants in there, breaking down those sections with those wall breakers, keeping the giants alive with heal spells. Um, I only needed one. And then you can see uh, that we've still got a lot of archers. We're going to kind of hold off on them, let, their do their own, let them do their own thing for a little bit. We've got these giants running around. We're going to take out this mortar right here. Uh, boom. And then we're going to have the rest of our archers. We've still got 16 of them. Uh, we're going to drop them off. And we're going to bring these archers in here. They're going to go ahead and focus right here. I thought that most of them were going to die right... Where is it? Right here. Look at that thing. Boom. But he only hit the right side. These archers take out the left side for us. That's what I'm talking about. 1,468 Dark Elixir. That's prime, guys. That is a good amount of Dark Elixir. And anytime I get that amount, I'm super stoked about it. So, uh, the whole goal of this is not going for any other kind of loot. It's going for one storage, which is the Dark Elixir storage. Generally, it's in the middle of the base. So, you got to just go all out from one side. Uh, it works better if you have heal spells to keep your giants up, obviously. Um, I don't think that I have any spells up. I'm going to have a rage spell in a little bit. Uh, which should actually help us out. So while that's uh, finishing up, we're going to watch one more replay that I did okay on. I didn't have any spells with it. If I had, we would have done a lot better. All right, so here's another attack that I had uh, a lot more recently. And look at this. So there's 919, so I was stoked. I was like, ah, it's close enough to 1,000. We should easily be able to get up in here. Got all of our giants, which we recently maxed for Town Hall 9. Guys, level 6, they're beast. I remember when level 6 was max, and it was ridiculous. These giants are such monsters. If you keep them under a heal spell, they are ridiculous. But if somebody has wizards in the clan castle, your giants are done. Your giants are absolutely done. If they have wizards or a dragon, because that splash damage owns giants. They can't do anything about it. But we've got all of our archers coming in here, taking out all this dark elixir. Now, here's something that sucks. Look, there's still 236 left, and it's got to be right there. I didn't even think that it was right there, because this looked completely full, so... We're going to go ahead, slowly take out these buildings on the side, and then my archers go exactly where I don't want them uh, to go. So we're taking out the town hall right there. I guess I actually really didn't need a heal spell. I just needed to place my archers a little bit better. You can see I'm going to spam these archers right there, and they go over to the elixir drill instead of to the dark elixir drill, which was definitely closer. <laughs> if that patch had gone over there, they wouldn't have been hit by the mortar, and we would have gotten the rest of it. So... We only got 737 there, not too bad, but let's go ahead, head back, get our army, and we're going to go see if we can find a base so we can totally dominate with all these giants, all right? All right, guys, now from the look of things, there's probably going to be some giant bombs in here, uh, but we're going to try it out anyways. We're going to go ahead, send in our giants. We're going to send in one wall breaker with them, and then we're going to send in the other wall breakers right there now that that is down. 
And once they get in, we're going to go ahead and drop off this rage spell. We've also got our king and our queen up for us. Let's go ahead and get these other wall breakers up in there. Awesome. Yes, if those other wall breakers get up in there and break through that, we are going to be sitting really, really pretty. Drop off these other wall breakers and continue taking out these buildings out here. Nice. Now if we can get our king up inside. Where is he going? King, that's not where I wanted you to go. All right, where's the queen going to go? Will she go up? In no, please. Ugh. None of them are going. Why are they going over there? Seriously? That's where you're going? No. Guys, there we go. All right, so we got our archers heading in to the center. The king and queen are working their way around the outside. We are going to take out all of this loot as long as these mortars don't turn and focus on our archers. Come on, archers. Hurry up. Ooh, you're stressing me out. I'm getting worried. All right, king's ability right there. Come on, archers. Take it out. Take it out. No. No. Okay, good. I thought that mortar was going for the archers. There's that dark elixir for us. Yes, Please, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh, we're crushing this base right now. That rage spell was so epic. Look what those wall breakers did. They broke all the way into the core. That was perfect. We couldn't have done that any better with those wall breakers. We've still got all these giants working their way around. They're going to go take out that mortar. Not a problem whatsoever. Actually, it might be a problem because now those cannons are focusing on them. Queen shooting over a whole bunch of walls for us, taking out that gold. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, use her ability right there, Royal Cloak. Take that out, and we're going to end that battle because I don't want to lose her. Guys, yes, please. Woo! Look at that raid. That's what I'm talking about. 316,000 gold, 275 elixir, 275,000 elixir, 1,700 dark elixir. That is a boss raid. That's the kind of loot that I'm looking for, and these giants are doing it for us. Try it out, guys. Let me know if it works for you. Comment down below. If it does, leave a like on the video for this raid. I wasn't expecting it. I looked at this base before attacking, and I was like, I'm probably going to lose, and it's going to stress me out. But we did it. We crushed it. There's still another gold and elixir storage you can see right there. There's two elixir storages and a gold storage in the background that we didn't even touch, and we still got all this loot. That's what I'm talking about. So let me know down below if you guys try it out. It's working really well for me. I'm going to keep on grinding it out. We've got our barracks boosted. We're going to go for it. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate y'all's support. I love you all very much. You mean the world to me. And hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.